Hello, it's Friday today. It's just coming up to 12 o'clock in the afternoon. I've been doing all the usual things, getting the vlog up for tonight, sorting the kitchen out, doing all the washing up. Izzy's been working on her maths upstairs in her room since about 10 o'clock this morning and she's going to be ready for a lunch break in about half an hour. So the next thing on my list today is to respond to all my emails and messages and comments. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. My puzzle is looking like that, by the way. I kind of get to the evening when I finish editing and it's like, I don't know, 10 or 11 at night and then I'm like bleary eyed. <laughs> and the lighting is not very good in here at night. This bulb, it, I don't know, it's just a bit dim. So I put my vlogging light on it, but that's like too much. I don't know, and my glasses as well. It must be an age thing. So. I need reading glasses to look at the actual pieces when I'm doing them, but then when I'm looking up to see the box, unless I get the box and put it really close to me like that, I've got to change to my other glasses, <laughs> which are these ones that I've got on now. So, um, a bit frustrating, but I haven't really got time in the day to do the puzzle, so when the lighting is good, I'm kind of a bit too busy to do it. I might see if I can sneak a half an hour in today sometime. But I'm gonna do those emails now anyway. A lot of these comments make me smile. Okay, that's done. I didn't have that many actually. I thought I had more than I did and I have been whittling away at them gradually. It is now lunchtime, so I'm going to have a look and see what I can feed my darling daughter and myself. This is the entire contents of my veg collection. One of my subscribers has kindly pointed out that you don't put garlic in the fridge, so they're coming out. Thank you very much. I don't quite know where I'm gonna put them, but they can go there for now. Perhaps I need a little pot to put them in. Right, so we've got celery and cucumber. That's not going to do much, is it? Oh. I'm going to do couscous and stuff out of tins and frozen and kind of stirred in together and seasoned a lot so it tastes all right. Needs a bit more water. I think I might have put too much in again. I always do this. Right, how's that doing now? Oh yeah, that looks a bit more like it. So Daniel is asking in the comments, more cooking please. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so I have sautéed the celery in a bit of olive oil. I'm having to be resourceful here, okay. <laughs> This is one of my made up recipes. Let's just turn that up a bit. So I've got some frozen mushrooms, they're still frozen, you see, straight out of the freezer from Iceland. And also some peppers, which are also frozen. So I'm just heating those through and cooking them. I'm going to add probably some beans. Let's see what I've got. Oh, my favorite kidney beans. They're so cheap. Cheap, cheerful, nutritious. Very good, so yeah, I'm gonna add those. And also in the fridge, needing to be eaten is better. So I'm gonna cut that up into cubes and add it at the end. And also, likewise with the cucumber, I'm just gonna cut that into little cube-ish sort of, well, not cubes, but quarters. And throw it in at the end so it doesn't actually cook through. Right, I'm gonna add some garlic and soy sauce and some herbs and things to that concoction there. One advantage to this two meters or six foot rule is you can be as smelly as you like. You can stink your breath up with as much garlic as you want and you can't get close enough to anybody else to uh, offend them, you know? It's great. Save on deodorant and washing. <laughs> no, I actually haven't saved on deodorant or washing. I was, I was thinking I might, but even I didn't want to do that. <laughs> this is a funny garlic crusher I got from Ikea to replace my old one that broke. It's kind of hinged and I'm not sure why. I think it's for cleaning purposes. I mean, it is quite easy to clean. I've got used to it now. It took a bit of adjusting to. It's like garlic clove shaped. In you go, boys. Oh, I'm making a right pig here of it. Bit more. It's gonna be very garlicky. Yum. I'm trying to find the balance between getting the garlic crusher in shot and burning my hands on the steam and like setting a bad example to you lot to put your hands really close to the food. Don't do it at home, kids. 
Oh, that smells good. <laughs> and it's going to smell even more good now because my favourite Kickerman soy sauce, the only brand I really like, soy sauce. That's it. The smell of the garlic and the soy sauce now. That's heaven in a sniff. There, one couscousy mush for lunch. It is this time, and we're supposed to have started five minutes ago, but we're not stressing. We're going to just go through the core practical of the topic for human biology, but we're not going to do it, and we're not going to do it in any depth. We're just going to watch a video about it, I think, and then just move on to the next topic, because now we're like, is she going to college? Isn't she going to college again? <laughs> so we will skim through things, get an overview, and move on until we know for definite about college again. This is like we've been going up and down, up and down with it, haven't we, Is? Yeah. Isabel thinks I should show the vlog how grassy the floor it's is. It's really grassy. <laughs> hmm, I wonder if it's... Yeah, it's everywhere, it's all up the stairs. <laughs> no, me neither, we should learn that. See, this is the... yeah. You still haven't got rid of it? Are you... I keep forgetting. Wait, you know what she did? She was she was eating dinner last night and she rolled down her things. She saw loads of grass and then it was falling and she just put it back in. <laughs> well, I didn't want to spread it on the floor. You could have got to put it in the bin. <laughs> I was comfortable. <laughs> okay, <fair laughs> Well, it just seemed like the obvious thing to do. you still haven't taken it out. It's still in there from yesterday. <laughs> Right, because I've made such a mess of the table, again, we're going to watch our videos here. I'm just going to put the laptop on this chair. I'm going to make myself a nice coffee. Mm. And you've got a nice orange juice, I see. Mm. I love the makeup. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm not a makeup wearer myself. Can we show it's the glittery. Can we show the vlog your makeup? Okay. I did it in my first break. Oh. It's not the best, I tell but you like, who I will. like it. I tell you who will approve of that, and that's Corin from <laughs> Jamesy Boy Experiment Travel Channel. <laughs> Definitely. You'll get a thumbs up from Corin. Izzy has just said that Corin from Jamesy Boy Experiment Travel Channel is in fact her soul sister because she has a fringe and likes glittery eye makeup. <laughs> <laughs> About 160 degrees Celsius steam is blown through the food for a short time. It kills the bacteria and it kills those spores again so the bacteria can't make more. Okay, she's upstairs doing the written assignment component of that lesson and I'm going down into the cellar to do the first instalment of my flute practice for the day. And try not to get drawn into the puzzle. Oh, I so want to just play with the puzzle. It's like having a new Lego set for Christmas. <laughs> oh, must resist. It's three o'clock now. I've done half of my practice. Izzy's finished her science and had a bit of a break and she's decided she wants to crack on with English. So she's upstairs doing the word search that I did for her with some spelling words. Uh, a while ago, I think you saw me making it, and I'm just going over the work that she did in the workbook last session while she's doing that, and then we're going to convene and do some work on semicolons and colons just as a refresher, really. It's stuff that she's done many times before over the years, but it's one of those things you forget when you're in the mad flurry of passionate creation, <laughs> if you know what I mean. There, I've marked her work and I've set her a little bit of independent work to do with her English language today. I shall just go upstairs and deliver that bit of information to her, then I'm going to just finish my practice off down in the cellar and then I know it's done for the day. Before I do, I'm going to give you a quick garden update. So, as you can hear, the birds are now very keen on our garden. Izzy filled this to the brim this morning. They've got through that in a matter of hours. They have been going berserk for that. Donuts of doom. How have they been keeping the slugs off? Well, they're not completely dead, but as you can see, it's not doing well. It's wet. Um, they've nibbled that one, as you can see, <laughs> so that hasn't stopped them. Likewise, this one has almost been eaten completely. These are being eaten. And uh, out of all the 37 beans that I planted, only nine have come up. Yeah, nine have come up out of 37 so far. And I don't know if any more are going to come up. And if they don't, that kind of sorts my crisis out that I was having about where to put the courgettes because I can squeeze a few more in where the beans would have gone. The geraniums are very happy. They like it here. Tomato plants just sort of being a tomato plant. It's not doing much. It's the courgette I transplanted, petunias flowering 
strawberry plant and uh, weeds are starting to come but I'm kind of leaving the weeds for now I might come and pluck them out they are producing oxygen oh who's this <laughs> I'm trying not to get the background in you done no I'm stumped you're stumped so you're stuck here let's have a look then four o'clock and all's well <laughs> got by surprise she didn't know the camera was out then <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> filming before. <laughs> when I went, four o'clock, and all's well. Izzy thought I was talking to her, so she started to come down singing a response. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, I was going to play with my puzzle for half an hour. Good for you. Because I've done an hour's practice already. Wow. And you're having a break now, I presume, aren't you? Yeah. How'd you get on with your English? Good. Have you got stuff for me to... <laughs> the viewfinder is like trying to put the square around Aira's face. <laughs> it recognises it as a face, which it's is probably, kind of scary. It's probably because we filmed Aira so much the camera just knows. Yeah, maybe. But here's Aira again. Hello, Aira. Okay, I'm going to play with my puzzle. Because it's Friday afternoon and I'm having a break for half an hour. Go yep. me. Yay. And I should be a bit quicker at it in the actual natural daylight as well. Half an hour later and I haven't made much progress. <laughs> but I'm going to crack on with her history now. Okay, so maybe it was right that we didn't try and have that meet up in the open air today. It is really raining at the moment. Whoa. But we're cosy. Izzy is drawing on the sofa and listening to the rest of her history, which we've nearly finished. We're finishing in five minutes. I can't resist filming really fast, heavy rain. I don't know, there's something soothing about it. Oh. Well, it's a little later now. We've finished history and therefore we have finished doing our home ed for the week. And it's only 5.30, yeah, 5.30. And I've done my flute practice already, so I don't need to squeeze that in before getting dinner on, which is great. So, I think I'm going to edit this now. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.